Then before of the cylinder head removing it is good to install at least two of these poles in here what keeps this this uh, camshaft in position and, uh, and we can actually install this in here in that line in that area and then one in here and now a little bit I rotate this and this keeps this here's first bolt and here's second and this is only that it's secure that when we open this cylinder head bolts next that, that uh, there is risk that these parts can drop to ground okay and next part is that when we take the cylinder head away we need now 14 millimeter 12 corner socket what fits these cylinder head bolts in here and note also that we need a little bit longer socket and then maybe a little bit extension and now this this uh, socket is in position and we can look also these bolts they are quite easy to take out okay and these bolts are really in here and when we look we can see in this down area and in here they are easy easy to find these poles and take out there is like one two three four five ten poles is total amount in here okay cool and then i start this opening in this central line and then I take all 10 bolts away. Okay, and this bolt opening, this bolt opens anti-clockwise in that way. They are easy, easy to open when they have a little bit bigger tools. This bolt looks like be a little bit tighter. And that one. And now we can use also this electric impact driver. And let's look at how this device opens these bolts. Okay, and now I noticed that these bolts is easier to open with this basic long long bar this spanner because these, some of these bolts, they are tight and I have to work a little bit okay, and like this side bolt in here this looks like in here, and then I try to open okay, now it op opens but I need long this spanner. Now this is free. Now but then up uh, uh, one. Okay, now this opens. And look at how long this my tool is. This is like almost fun feet. 60 to 60 to 50 centimeters. Okay, and then these bolts opens. And now I open all of those bolts. Okay, and now when I have loosened all of these bolts, I can now use this my impact driver. And then longer pliers. And we can see that there is this cylinder head bolt and fasher. A look at how long this bolt is and we can reduce these bolts but of course I recommend that we purchase new bolts from Honda dealership and new bolts is better than reuse and then I take all of these 
bolts away. Okay, and now I use my electric driver. This is loosened. That one also. And I already loosened this bolt, and that's these are so easy to take out. Okay, cool. Okay, then I use my longer pliers that I lift. I lift these bolts away. There's that one. And then that one, and here is here is that one. And when I have take all of this away, we can go to next step. The next task before of this cylinder head cover removal, or then in some another issue with issue area, is that this EGR valve this removal and there is really one, two, three bolts what keeps this part in inside and together with cylinder head. And now I take this 12 millimeter socket that I can open this EGR valves, these bolts. These are connected in cylinder head and there is 12 millimeter and there are long bolts, three of these. This is second, and that one is final. Okay, cool. And now this EGR valve in here, it is movable. It moves like in that way. And now it is not connected anymore in cylinder head. And there is also this hose what goes to water pump, but now this part is free. And here is really, and there was really left this one coolant hose. And if I have this pliers, I can take this clamp away in that way and then this part, this hose, I take my next pliers. Then when I have small pliers, I can compress this hose and rotate in that way. And after that, this hose is easier to remove. But th this is in that way, carefully. Okay, now now it opens, and now I can try to lift out this again. And now cylinder head opens nicely. And there we can see those pistons, and we can go to look closer.